guys, so I just wanted to do this quick little video. Um, there's just been a lot of questions and concerns about me working in x-ray, so I figured I'd do this video just concentrating on me working in x-ray in particular and in healthcare. Um, I think you've heard me say before, scrub pants, I've had trouble finding ones that have fit. I don't like to buy um, special ones if I'm not going to wear them that long. I am kind of cheap in that sense and I don't like to spend much on scrubs anyways. So I just usually get like a size up, um, try to get them cheap and just put up with them. I, it's a little bit hard working in healthcare, just walking a lot. Um, I think I definitely get my exercise in, but it can be really hard um, and just tiring, especially in this last month of pregnancy. That's been probably the hardest part of working in healthcare. Um, usually we'll wear lead if we're working in fluoroscopy, but because I'm pregnant I wouldn't be working in fluoroscopy, which is live continuous ray x-ray. So a couple things with working in radiation, just personnel anyways. I'm already wearing a dosimeter, which is just measuring how much dose you're getting as a staff member working in x-ray. So we wear it at our color level, that's red, depending on which type of badge you have. Um, it's red maybe about monthly, bi-monthly, it depends on the type of badge you are using. I'm not sure. So it could be a film badge, it could be a dosimeter, um, ours are kind of like these rectangle shapes. So we are monitoring, and usually our dose is less than what you get from natural radiation, background radiation, of just being on Earth and doing your thing on Earth. So, being pregnant, usually what you do is declare that you're pregnant to the employer as an x-ray tech um, or anyone working in radiation. Then what they do is give you a second monitor. So they look like this. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, you wear it down at your hip level where baby is. And so that keeps track of your radiation at baby's bubble. So that actually gets read monthly. I know for sure the baby one is monthly. It's a different schedule for our um, collar badges. I can't remember what that is. Um, so they're reading those so they monitor to make sure the baby is not getting a high dose as well. And on top of that, usually we're using safe practices anyways. So we use a six foot distance when we're near a beam. Usually we're behind a lead wall. Sometimes we have to help patients um, holding them for certain positions of an x-ray to get the right view. In those cases, I'm not holding because of pregnancy and another tech would come in and help hold or a nurse or a medical assistant. Sometimes, just in regular practice, so not being pregnant, if I'm working with an older tech, sometimes older techs will step in to hold anyways, knowing that I am more likely to be pregnant in the near future versus um, her. Um, so that's something we look out for each other on a team. Our x-ray radiation dose as an x-ray tech is actually not high at all. Like I said, it's background radiation, not even close to that. The highest occupational dose is actually flight attendants and pilots. So those are the ones that are getting high dose. So it's not something to be concerned about. So. I know a lot of patients ask me, or people just knowing that I work in x-ray, wonder, how does that work? Well, we're already using safe practices, so it does not end up being an issue, but on top of it, we're using extra monitoring and making sure it's not an issue, if that makes sense. So if you have any more questions regarding x-ray and being an x-ray tech um, and being pregnant as an x-ray tech, feel free to comment below. I'll try to um, answer those questions best I can. So. Thanks guys.